What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So the past few days you guys saw I've been driving my Civic SI as my daily driver again while I pretty much get my rally art back to driving conditions so that she could be a good daily driver. I decided, you know what, I might as well make these videos. I want to do like kind of like a little point of view uh, driving video of each car. So the first car I'm going to start with is the Civic SI. So if you guys don't know, I own a 2008 Honda Civic SI Coupe, two door. Uh, I don't show it too much recently just because recently I've been having the rally yard as the daily and my SI is at the other house. But now they have it back, I might as well show you guys some driving clips and a walk around. So here she is, my Civic SI. Obviously far from stock and I apologize if she's a little bit dirty. But yeah, this car has made a fun, nice daily driver. I've had it for about two years now and pretty much got the car in stock form. So this definitely came a long way. And I love driving this car. Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, this is the first manual car that I own. Uh, I learned to drive stick over 10 years ago, but just never did get one for myself. Yeah, so let's go ahead and give it a nice cold start. Show you guys the interior of the car. Interior is pretty stock OEM Plus, that's what I like to call it. See if the stock SI seats. Stock steering wheel, replace the badge. Biggest difference would be this double din radio. And then the dash cam, wide angle mirror, LEDs all around. Uh, this HFP format's pretty hard to find as well. So I got them all around. Spoon sport shift knob. I think that's about it for the interior. Let's go in and fire her up. Alright, I'm gonna give her a nice cool start. Nice little cold start in the morning. So car does sound pretty good. If you guys are wondering what has been done to the car exhaust wise, we have skunk two hitters. We have, we had a skunk two uh, full three inch exhaust, but I swapped that out for a full race three inch exhaust catless. Um, yeah, so thing sounds good, sounds aggressive, makes good power. Um, might as well, while the car warms up before I drive to work, might as well do a quick rundown on what's been done to the SI since it's been a little while. Um, so in terms of modifications, let's start with the exterior. Uh, the front end, we have some spec headlights. I did some uh, little hood vents myself, OEM hood, just cut out the hood vents. Um, let's see what else, we have a full HFP body kit so that's the front lip the side skirts the rear lip took me a while to source that discontinued for many years so definitely pretty hard to find uh let's see what else in the interior we pretty much talk about the double din the hfp floor mats um the spoon sport shift knob leds all around my dash cam uh under the hood we have some fun goodies we have skunk to cams we have an engine intake uh and then like i said we have the skunk to headers uh Full race three inch exhaust, um, a tune on it, and uh, it's lowered onto Kiko shocks as well as um, Ibox Sportline springs. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, wheels, if you guys are wondering, uh, for the longest time I had some OG T37s on it. Right now, I do have the Race Grim Life 57 DRs. Uh, tires, I have it wrapped in the Firestone Firehawk Indy 500. Uh, in terms of wheel specs, I so like I said, I switched. I had 18s previously, now I went back to 17s. I think right now what it has is the 17 by 9 uh, offset is plus 38. Um, and tire wise, I'm running a 245 40 17 all around. So, yeah, uh, nice groupy setup, definitely a lot of fun, and nice and fun car.
guys up on the uh, sunroof. I hope you guys can see well. So yeah, I've owned this car for about two years now, since uh, June 2020. And it was a fun time building this car. Let's do a little pull. thing in the world in terms of power but up until before I got the rally art I would say this has been the most fun daily driver for me um, makes good power haven't had it on the dyno but the bud dyno says about 230 to 250 wheel horsepower uh, again that's you know with the full bolt ons the tune all that good stuff um, driving around town it's a great car like I said it's a Honda Civic at the end of the day <laughs> Um, uh, only I guess you can say main differences is uh, well firstly the engine so on the 8th gen Honda Civics um, most of them at the mall economical you know single cam engine uh, versus this one has the K20 uh, high compression motor so out of the box a lot of potential um, and this is the SI model if some of you guys are from overseas you don't know what the SI model is never heard of it uh, some of y'all might have the FD2R so the 8th gen Civic Type R and here in the US we never got the Type R uh, for the 8th generation of Civics so a lot of guys even if we seem like we have it they pretty much took a four-door Civic SI and did a conversion uh, over to what they call like a Type R clone or lookalike whatever you want to call it um, so yeah the 8 gens uh, Honda Civics remain uh, I think from 2007 until 2011 um, and they made the coupe as well as the sedan versions um, you know a lot of people like to pick the sedan versions over the coupe just because more practical four doors you can have a family stuff like that um, 8 gen Civics you still see them on the road just really popular cars great cars um, the coupe on the other hand uh, usually if you do see them on the road they are the Civic EX models so the Civic EX models they uh, like I said they might look similar but different engine um, the SI only comes in a six-speed manual transmission as well which the EX I don't think come with it I know um, yes on the normal Honda Civics you can get them in manual as well uh, but like I said the main difference is you're really paying extra for the motor yeah so it's a bunch of traffic as I drive to work but great car uh, responsive it's aggressive um, I just love how it looks how it drives Oh, I also did switch out the brake pads. I forgot to mention that while I was talking about the mods earlier. Um, I swapped it out to the stop tech brake pads as well as drill and slaughter stop tech rotors all around um, maybe about a year ago. The small maintenance stuff, you know, over time, did the oil change myself, you know, did some maintenance spark plugs replaced by myself as well. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a Honda Civic, super easy to work on. Um, so yeah, differences between normal Civic, your engine, obviously the manual transmission, um, also the uh, you have to pump premium fuel. So <laughs> I know a lot of Honda Civic owners, they're like, yeah, just 
pump regular gas you pump 87 89 but with this being the SI model it's a more sporty model so you want to pump premium gas uh, even says it on the gas door so gas is a little more expensive and obviously this has been modified so with the more aggressive tune sure it makes more power but it also eats more gas <laughs> so on a full tank I say anywhere from like 230 to 250 miles for a full tank uh, I think full tank is about 11 gallons so you can do the math um, not great gas mileage for a daily driver you get more smiles per gallon that's what I like to call it um, yeah then again all my cars uh, are smalls per gallon cars <laughs> all of them need premium gas which kind of sucks um, thankfully for me here in Texas we get 93 octane uh, pretty easily we can take 91 octane too still premium compared to some other states around the US like California I guess in Texas is much cheaper so not too bad um, but yeah definitely a really fun car to be honest I didn't really see myself buying this car um, the only reason I bought it was because I got a pretty good deal on it um, I got it from my friend Long and ex-boss uh, Long and he had it he was gonna sell it to a customer and I just so, oh, it's real clean and nice. Um, actually, it has a fresh coat of paint on it. Still the original white, but um, yeah, right before it got sold to me, uh, I think I painted two weeks before that. So fresh paint all around the car. Uh, yeah, I think it looks real nice and minty. Um, like I said, I, <laughs> I need to wash the car. It's been uh, slightly neglected, but um, yeah, definitely a great car. Love driving it. Alright, so I just got to work. I'm gonna complete my work day and then I'll get back to you guys whenever I start driving back home. Hopefully you'll be able to get more pull clips as well as startup clips. Many hours later. Alright, just got off work. About to head home right now. So let's go ahead and give the car a nice cold start. downtown Austin which it's beautiful sight but taking I-35 to work every day bad traffic you're pretty much stuck in bumper to bumper traffic so that's one thing that kind of blows I live and work off I-35 which is the busiest interstate highway here in Austin Texas <laughs> All right, so just made it back home. I hope you guys like this simple video of taking the Civic Si to work. If you guys like it, I'll probably do a few more videos taking the rail yard, the show car, as well as the Astro 1000 to work. So again, if you guys are new, hit the thumbs up and leave the subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.